Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'll be reviewing Blasted from Netflix. So Blasted is a new Norwegian film that is streaming on Netflix and it is a sci-fi comedy kind of film and it tells the story of Sebastian, this guy who is a workaholic. He kind of lost who he is as a person and his inner child and his friends decide they want to send him out on this bachelor party. It's right before his wedding. They feel like maybe it'll help him get back to who he is. Sebastian's more interested in this wealthy investor business partner named Casper who he wants to bring along, kind of show him that he is the, the cool guy, he's a trustworthy guy to gain his business. But then they end out in this Norwegian forest. Things start to get a little bit crazy. And this movie is based in some reality on some Norwegian UFO phenomenon. Take that with a grain of salt because this movie does get really crazy. And that all being said, I had a lot of fun with this one. I haven't seen a ton of Norwegian films, so obviously the culture shock of it and the comedy of it is a little different. It's a little offbeat from what you're used to with like traditional American comedies, but I think it works really well. The characters are really likable. They are a little bit shallow, some more than others, but they definitely have you rooting for them. In particular, the main character, Sebastian, has a pretty good character arc from the beginning of the movie to the end. It helps him rediscover his inner child, rediscover his friendship. Because while this movie is a comedy that interjects some sci-fi elements and it's over the top and zany and kind of cheesy at times, it really is a story about friendship. It's a story about finding who you are and finding what's important in life. And I really think it had some heartwarming moments along the way. And I think the messages in it come across really well. One of the areas where I think the movie could have fell really flat but definitely didn't was the visual effects. I didn't know with the budget of it, it being kind of an under the radar film, something that I didn't even know was coming out, if it was gonna look a little too sci-fi channel-ish, but I think it held up really well. They decided to use their budget in a way that it wasn't too overblown and too over the top. There's only two or three real scenes in the third act of the film where they go full CG with characters and elements and ships and things like that. But I think it looked pretty good. I never thought it looked bad. I didn't think there was any bad green screen. And they know when to pull their punches when it comes to how the aliens looked because they are people that are possessed by aliens. I was thinking more of like a zombie light state where their eyes are glowing and when they shoot them with lasers, kind of you see this goo fly out of them. So it never felt like it was like too overblown or doing something beyond its own means. But one thing I will say is the movie is almost two hours long and it feels like it could have been tightened up a little bit, but by no means was it boring. I was never like, oh, this movie's too long, wrap it up. I don't really, I'm not interested. It's lost my attention because there's a lot of energy to it, a lot of comedy. Like I said, the characters are really likable. The story is kind of interesting. It's a simple premise, but the way it's twisted, I really enjoyed it. It reminded me almost of something that I would have wanted to make with my friends when I was a teenager. And it takes you back to that place, at least for me. That's one of the things I really enjoyed about it. There's some cool, almost action elements to it. It's like action sci-fi. They realize that they can use these little laser guns from like laser tag to defeat the aliens. And you realize that the character's backstory that him and his friend from his childhood were like pro laser champs. They were like the champions of Europe. So it really brings them together. There's some really fun, lighthearted moments with them coming together as friends. Because Mikkel, who's there from his childhood, you know, he's kind of like someone who never really grew up. He still lives in that past. And then Sebastian feels like he's just a kid. He doesn't, you know, he needs to grow up. But then he learns from him and they come together and meet in the middle. And it's just really heartwarming. My personal favorite character is Pele. He's a guy who just, he's like the comedic element to the movie. He comes in, he doesn't have a huge amount of lines, but I liked anytime he was on screen. I kind of resonated with him. I thought it was kind of a fun, heartwarming moment anytime he would come in, even if it was like in a darker, more serious moment of the movie. I feel like the director, Martin Sofidal, made the best of his budget and the best of his actors. They all did a really good job. Like I said, it's a simple premise that really came together in a way that was really satisfying. It reminded me a lot of an Edgar Wright film, even though it has its own take, it's its own thing. It doesn't feel like it's trying to, you know, copycat off of anything, but it felt a lot like World's End. I really enjoyed it. I haven't seen a movie like this in a long time. So if I were to rate this movie, I would give it an 8 out of 10. That good. I mean, it's really well made. I think they, like I said, they did the best with what they had. I like the characters. I think the CG elements didn't look too overblown. They worked when they were used. The premise is simple but fun. There's a lot of zaniness, a lot of quirkiness to it. So it's a really charming kind of little movie. I think that people should check it out. If you're someone who hasn't you know, seen a movie like this in a while and you're kind of intimidated by maybe it's a Norwegian film, it's a foreign film. It's very accessible. It's really fun. I watched it, you know, in Norwegian with subtitles and that worked for me. I know there's a dubbed option on Netflix, so I would definitely check it out. And if you do check it out, let me know what you think about it. Did you like it as much as I did? Did it fall a little flat for you? Leave those comments down below. Remember to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.